This just in. A Jungle Crew skipper reports spotting the lost safari near the African veldt. As you may recall, this safari has remained missing longer, yet had more sightings than any other in history. Locally, aeroplane pilots are cautioned about landing in Settler's Field. Recent rains have created rather large bogs, which have attracted the attention of local water buffalo. Pilots should carefully review conditions before either taking off or landing. These same rains have caused Schweitzer Falls to run at 150% of normal, resulting in dangerous currents on nearby waterways. All skippers are advised to proceed with caution. The northeastern district is reporting some unusual activities at the Temple of the Forbidden Eye. The governor's troops have been dispatched to the area. We will provide further information as it becomes available. Also in the news, an entire Jungle Cruise tour group has disappeared in the riverfront region. Authorities are trying to determine their exact whereabouts. It is the fourth reported incident involving the Jungle Cruise this month. In the Lake District, a group of hunters claims that all of their supplies, equipment and their transport were lost when a group of mad gorillas invaded their camp. Wildlife specialists calm the resident, saying that such behavior on the part of gorillas is rather unlikely. A new shipment of quinine has just arrived at Tropical Imports. Those with medical conditions will be given priority. The remaining quinine will be available to the general public while the supply lasts. The Serengeti Wildlife Society has announced its safari schedule for the next year. Several spaces are still available. Please contact the Society for details. Next week, the True Life Adventurers Club will be holding its third annual meeting. Doctors Sears and Hibbler will be discussing their research on the African lion. This is the Global Broadcasting Service, the voice of civilization. In the local news, the Northeastern District reports a record number of visitors this year. Local officials attribute the increase to rumors about recent discoveries at the Temple of the Forbidden Eye. The unexpected onslaught of visitors has created a shortage of elephants and automobiles throughout the region. On a more pragmatic note, Matty's Boatyard announces that they have just received their shipment of mechanical and motorized parts. Those who had placed orders should contact Mr. Matty. Reverend Goff of the Jungle Mission will soon be returning to Holland and is seeking a home for two chimpanzees and a lion cub. If you can help, please call the Mission Veterinary Clinic. The weather at our outpost today? Hot and humid. Monsoons are expected to arrive here later this week, turning the weather to hot and humid. Now for some local updates. Due to last week's locust invasion, the Ladies' Assistance League has rescheduled their annual charity bazaar for next Saturday at noon at Prince Albert School. The Jungle Botanical Society will be hosting a program entitled Secrets of Life. Rare carnivorous plants will be on hand. Light refreshments will be served. During his lecture yesterday to the Anthropological Society, Professor Marcus Brody reported that Dr. Henry Indiana Jones has located priceless artifacts at the Temple of the Forbidden Eye. Professor Brody believes that Dr. Jones may have uncovered the most significant archaeological find of the century. <laughs>